Antoinette, good afternoon. This is the tale of a runaway ship, and it's lucky that the Coast Guard got it when they did. Take a look at the damage that was done here to the side of this terminal as the ship drifted down the channel. It is currently docked offshore between Winthrop and the Hunt while investigators try to figure out how it happened. A scare on board the 1,065 foot Helsinki bridge in the middle of a cargo operation. The large container ship breaking free from all 12 of its secure lines at the Conley terminal just after midnight. They notified us very quickly. Um, the ship's crew was very quick in getting their engine equipment up and running so that they could uh, drop their anchor and not be drifting around. Two tugboats and a pilot deployed almost immediately, helping to escort the runaway ship out to Broad Sound between Winthrop and Nahant. A crew of about 20 plus 10 onshore personnel surprised but safe and uninjured. The Coast Guard is now investigating. Uh, they'll take a look at all of the equipment. They'll talk to the ship's crew as well as a team is out at the Conley terminal looking at any damage that might be there. There is some visible damage to this side of the port. The ship bumped into it while making its way down the channel. As for how the ship broke free, weather may have played a big role. Winds that we had last night, the strength of those winds and a ship this size has a lot of sail area to push against. And so it's not unheard of for a ship to part lines because of the wind strength. The ship was actually expected to head down to Wilmington, North Carolina early this morning. The investigation will determine if and when that can happen.